While Google seems to do what it can when it comes to keeping malware out of the Play Store, at the end of the day, this is a cat and mouse game. Meaning that malicious developers will always find a way to sneak in, and they'll remain there until security researchers are able to detect and report them. This time, the folks over at Dr. Web have found some spyware in an SDK that is being used in hundreds of apps and games. This time, the folks over at Dr. Web have found some spyware in an SDK that is being used in over 100 apps and games. These have been downloaded and installed over 421 million times, which seems to indicate that a lot of data is being stolen from millions of infected devices. While many of these apps and games have been updated to remove the Trojan SDK, and others have been completely banned from the Google Play Store, there are some in this published list that still remain on the platform. So here we have the full list of all of the apps and games that have been detected using what is referred to as the Spin OK SDK module. I'll be including a link to this list and the original report in the video description below and recommend everyone who has one of these installed to remove it immediately. The people over at Dr. Web have also included a short list of the offending apps in their blog post, which highlight the ones that have been installed the most. For example, this noise video editor has been installed over a hundred million times and the Zapia file transfer app as well has been installed over a hundred million times. So the spin OK SDK module was designed as a way to maintain the interest of users while they are in the app. This can be done with a set of mini games, a collection of tasks, and some alleged prizes and rewards from sweepstakes. However, the SDK is mostly just smoke and mirrors, while it tricks people into thinking they can win some big prize. Under the hood, this Trojan SDK reportedly connects to a command and control server to upload a large amount of data about your device, checking for and obtaining files stored on your device, and more. This includes data from your sensors, your network connection details, detecting an emulator environment, and copying or replacing the contents of your clipboard. It also seems to have the ability to ignore proxy settings, and can obtain a list of URLs from the CNC server while directing the smartphone or tablet to display the advertisements from those URLs, all of which are hidden in the background so you are not familiar with why the performance of your device has slowed to a crawl. The SDK also seems to be changing the way it obtains this data in an attempt to avoid being detected by security researchers. The people who have detected this spyware have also noticed that it only connects to one of two servers right now. So if you want to add these to a firewall or something like a pie hole, then it is recommended to add both of them right now. But as this spyware evolves, we are likely to see this list grow in the future. 
I recommend everyone go through this list of infected apps and games that have been published by these researchers. And if you recognize one of them, then uninstall it immediately and contact the developer to see if they have updated it to remove the malicious SDK. Many times these developers use SDKs like this to increase engagement while not being aware of the other things that are going on in the background. So some of these developers didn't have any malicious intent, but still, you should always be wary of the applications and games that you install on your devices. Reports like this show that even apps with tens of millions of installs can still be compromised by developers who aren't paying attention to every little thing that they load into their application or game.